Hi there, my name is Fat Magic. Um, I am going to show you a card trick that I made up called the Inhuman. And then I'm actually going to show you how to do it like, right away. I'm not going to make you wait until God knows when. Some of those bastards go, oh, I made a card trick. I'm not going to show you how to do it because I'm a fucking faggot. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, I'm not going to be a magician. I'm not a magician now. I'm never going to be one. Um, if there's anyone out there that's, that's aspiring to be a magician, I'm going to help you in any way, shape, or form that I can. I'm going to help you with the secrets that I know. Anytime I come up with a new effect, I'm going to show you how to do it. Because if I can help you at all in your quest to becoming a successful illusionist, ah, uh, that's going to make you feel pretty good. Because I'm never going to be one. So anyway, um, here it is. It's actually pretty fun. It's pretty easy to do, and I'm just going to show you right away. So here we go. First of all, you start by picking out a card. Okay? Tell me when to stop. Right there? Good. That's not when to stop. All right. So. The Ace of Hearts. Okay, <clears throat> pretty cool card. All we're gonna do is we're gonna get it lost in the past. And you know what? I'm even gonna do a standard focus card. <coughs> now, for eh, you know what? We'll just do it from the top. We're just gonna take the top card, the two of spades. That is not your card. We're gonna take the two of spades, which is again not your card. We're gonna put it in the middle. I forgot what your card was. It's like the second card. Um, right there, right in the middle of the pack. Let's stand up for the rest of this. All you have to do is just take and flick the two, and it actually just turns back into your card. Oh, the Ace of Hearts, that's what it was. Alright, now, done in the right application with the right setting, with the right emotion, this can be performed very effectively, as it can be very good. Um, make any, this is more of a flourish, it's more of something to add into your trick. Um, but, I have a longer version of this trick, but this is just the, the um, effect. So, how you do this is you just take take one random card, okay, whatever the card may be, two of diamonds. Yes, actually your card so two of diamonds. Now what you do is however you want to, you keep it on top of the deck. Sometimes I do a classic hat, sometimes I do take cuts, just like this. Sometimes I don't know, I do some other stuff. Whatever. As long as it's still on top. Now. What you're going to do is a double lift, okay? A double lift is pretty simple because that's what it sounds. You lift two cards, thus calling it a double lift. Two cards. You tell them that this is not their card because it isn't. Well, this one isn't. The one behind it is. You can now um, hold it very tightly, holding it together. Don't show them like this, just try to keep it eye level. Put it in the pack. And now is where you can start showing it to them eye, you know. Uh, you want. As long as you put a bow in the deck, you can see with this finger, I'm putting a bow in the deck. And that keeps this together really tightly. And also, if you show it to them, even live for just a second or two, that it's in the middle of the deck, and they can't tell that it's two cards. Now, uh, I'll just show it to you like this. <coughs> here, what you do, so I have a computer going dead. Well, here, what, what you can do um, is it's covered like this, okay? But you can let go of the bow, and then what you do is you, as you push the cards in a little further, all, you know, the only reason why you're doing this is you're pushing that seven in a little bit further than their card, okay? And when you do that, you also bring this finger up, and with your fingernail, just your fingernail, push that card in all the way. If you use any more than your fingernail, it pulls the card apart from the other card, and it's way too apparent. Like as you can see, like it's just you can see it, um, like right here. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna push, and if you do this, like basically, you just kind of take your fingers and go like that with your thumb. And when you do that, it keeps the cards 
almost perfectly together. And it just takes practice, but then you use your fingernail immediately to pull that card in. And then you can, I mean, the switch is done, you can flick it, but the back of the card never moves. See? So it looks like, and, and they even see it, it looks like it, 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 it visually, it, 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 before their eyes, changes into a bare card. It's like, it's, it's absolutely impossible. Um, it's really simple and it has to be done very quickly. If you don't do it very quickly, it will not look good and they will know what it is. I can suggest practicing it, practicing this over and over and over. Not just, don't do the first card trick, just practice this part where you take their card and change it. Just practice this. Practice the change over and over and over and over and over. Okay. That's it. If you have any questions, please comment. If you have any other tutorials that you want me to do, please comment. I'm going to be doing a Flare Flourish or, um, YouTube video, doing actually several videos. So if you have any uh, questions or flares that you want me to show you, flourishes or effects, please uh, comment now and subscribe now. Um, I will add them into that. I'm going to be doing about four or five videos, so hurry up and subscribe and um, also um, let me know if there's any effects or flourishes that you want me to do. Thank you.